In today's tutorial, I'll be using Inkscape version 91 to show you how to create a very simple fitness style logo, similar to what you see here on my screen. And the two fonts I'm using for this tutorial are called Xscale and TextGyre. So if you go ahead and uh, download and install those fonts before we get started, I've included a link to them in, in the description. So once you've downloaded and installed those fonts, open up Inkscape and then we can get started. The first thing we will do is we will go to view and make sure you have custom selected and then we'll go to zoom and we're going to zoom in one to one and come up here to the align and distribute menu let's click that button to open that menu up make sure you have last selected chosen from that drop down and then we'll come over here where it says edit objects colors gradients and stroke and we'll open up that menu so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a circle so come over here to the uh, create circles and ellipses tool and while holding control and shift on the keyboard so click and drag on the canvas to make a nice round circle kind of like that and then we can go back to our arrow and let's bring this to the center of the screen let's turn this red and let's come over here to where it says opacity and let's drop that in half now let's right click this circle and go to duplicate and we'll turn that blue and then while holding control on the keyboard grab this bottom left arrow right here and drag this into about to about there and then come up to this top one and hold control and click and drag this out to about we'll bring that one out to about there so it should look something like this okay now let's right click that blue circle and go to duplicate and while holding shift on the keyboard click on that red circle beneath it and let's go to path difference now let's click on just this blue circle in the middle and hold control and shift on the keyboard and let's drag this in a little bit I'd say to about there and then we'll turn that red and then we'll right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that blue and while holding control on the keyboard let's grab this bottom arrow down here and let's click and drag this into about into about there I'd say and then while still holding control let's grab this top arrow and let's drag that out to about there now hold shift in the keyboard and click on that red circle beneath it and let's go to path difference so you should end up with something like this right here now let's click and drag over both of these and let's group them together by pressing this button right here or you could press control G on the keyboard so once you have them grouped together let's right click it and go to duplicate and we're going to uh, flip that horizontally and then we're going to flip it vertically and then we're going to take this and we're just going to click and drag this up to about right about there. We want it to look something like that. And then we can click and drag over both of these to select them both. And we're going to grab this bottom arrow and we're going to bring that in. We're going to bring that up to about there. And then we're going to click this a second time to get our rotation handles. Or we're going to take this top arrow that goes left and right right here. And we're going to click this over to the right a little bit and we're going to change the shape of it to something like that and then we can grab the rotation one of the corner arrows and just rotate this around a little bit just to about there and then we can ungroup this by clicking the ungroup button and let's bring the opacity on that all the way up and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything we're going to come back to this in just a minute and play with this well, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the uh, create squares and rectangles click on that while holding control and shift on the keyboard, click and drag on the canvas to create a nice symmetrical square, kind of like that. And let's come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes button. We're going to select that, and then we're going to go up here to where it says Path, and we're going to select Object to Path. Now, once you do that, these four little corners should appear. Let's click and drag over all of them, and come up here to where it says Insert New Node into Selected Segments, and we're going to click that. And it's going to insert a new node at each one of these sides. Now let's click and drag over these two middle ones right here. And let's go to where it says uh, make selected nodes auto smooth. We're going to click that. And then we're going to click and drag over these two middle ones right here. And we're going to make them auto smooth as well. Just like that. Now let's click on just this one right here. And then hold control and click and drag this in to about to about there I'd say. And let's do the, other, the same thing to the other side. Hold control and click and drag this one in to about there. 
And then while still holding control, we'll take this top one, we'll bring this down to about there. And then we'll take this one on the bottom, we'll just drag this one up to about there. And let's click and drag over these two middle nodes right here and hold control and let's just click and drag this up to about there. Now let's go back to the arrow, click on that, and let's take this, uh, this, uh, this, this little handle on the right here and let's just make this guy a little thinner. Something like that. And then we'll come over here to our Create Circles and Ellipses tool. We'll hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and just click and drag and create a circle. And give, this, give our little character a head here. And then we'll go back to the arrow, we'll click on that. Let's put this right about here and let's hold Shift and then click on the body and then center that up on the vertical axis. And then we'll go to Path Union. And what we'll do next is we'll click on this a second time to bring up our rotation handles. And we're going we're gonna to grab this side handle right here. And we're just going to click and drag that up. We're going to make that about something like that. Once you get that, take this top corner handle right here and let's rotate this around to about there. Something like that. And then we can click this again to get our scaling handles. We could bring this into the middle of our little circle right here. And we could just hold Control and Shift on the keyboard. And we can scale this guy down a little bit so he fits nicely inside of this shape that we've created. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our text. So let's come over here to where it says create and edit text objects. Let's bring that tool up. Let's click on the canvas and let's just write in fitness. And let's go to our text uh, editor up here. And the font that we installed, Xscale. I'm just going to find that. There it is, Xscale. Hit apply and there it shows up right there. We can close out of that. We can go to the arrow, hold control, and let's scale this up to about here. Something like that. Now let's go to Path, Object to Path, and then let's ungroup this. We'll ungroup it so it becomes individual little letters like that. And let's click and drag over just the word fit right here. And we'll go to Path Union. And I'm going to turn that a yellowish color, maybe a, a very slight hint of orange in there. And I'm going to go over to the, uh, the remaining letters, click and drag over them. We'll go to Path Union. We'll make them 40% uh, gray, I guess. 40% works. And then we can click and drag over this whole thing and let's group it together. Okay, now the next thing we'll do is we're going to create our subtext underneath this. I'm just going to write uh, training. Training. And the text we're using for this is uh, Text Gyre. I have it set as my default font on Inkscape, but uh, you'll have to probably go to the text editor and type in TEX to find the font. And once you find it, we can choose bold because I'm going to use bold. It looks better. Make it bold. Close out of that. And then come up here to where it says... Uh, Spacing between letters. We're gonna we're gonna increase that. We could just hold that arrow up. And we're gonna make this nice and spaced out. Right to about there. I'd say that looks good. And then we can press F7 to bring up the dropper. And I'm gonna make the word training the same color as the NESS right here. So I'm just gonna take the dropper and click on the gray area of one of those letters and it's going to change it to that color. And then we can go back to our arrow and while holding shift in the keyboard let's click on the word fitness and let's center that up on the vertical axis and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then I'm going to take the word training, I'm just going to hold control and click and drag this up so it's underneath it over here. And then I'm going to click and drag over this whole thing and I'm just going to put this next to our little logo right here. If you want to pan around on the page, you could hold your spacebar. Assuming you're using Inkscape 91, this is a new feature in 91, you could hold spacebar and just move your mouse around and it'll, it'll navigate you around the page. It's a really cool feature. I like that. Okay, so once that's, uh, we'll space this out kind of like this. Let's, um, okay, let's click on the character and then hold shift and click on the red line, the red circle above him 
and then hold, still holding shift, let's click on the, the red circle in the very bottom here. So we have those three objects selected. And we'll press F7 on the keyboard to bring up the dropper tool. And we'll make that the same shade of yellow that the word fit is. And then we'll go back to our arrow and we'll click off of that to deselect it. And let's click on this red circle and hold shift and click on this red circle and press F7 on the keyboard to bring up our dropper again. And we can click on this gray area. And then we can go back to our arrow. And as you can see, we are finished. We have created a very simple uh, fitness logo using Inkscape 91. So uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know.